All right, so one more little trick I have is these studs actually screw in. They'll be these right here. These right here. These four on the front of the water pump. Uh, the stud screws in, and it has to come off the old water pump. Okay, here's the old water pump still in the car. Okay, and the studs were through these holes. Okay, this hole it, it come in from this side. Okay, and there was a nut on the end of it. Well, I took the nut off, and the stud stayed in. So usually they're just by hand tight. Okay, uh, you can use logging pliers on the metal if you don't mess up the thread on them. Anyways, uh, the thing is, the trick is putting them back in, and you want to use something like uh, let's see, what I use is this stuff medium strength thread locker okay just medium strength so you can break it loose but you don't have to use anything there wasn't anything on them they're not going to come off I just you know I use it so then I take a nut tie it all the way down so it won't go anymore and then I use that to help put the stud the rest of the way into the water pump pulley and uh it's a 13 millimeter on this one so then uh, which is still in the box but just the point is to just to get them and I'm, I'm gonna hold that whenever I do it but um, just to get the the uh, stud put in here and I use the short side on the back side so it doesn't stick out too far and hit the water pump so it doesn't hit this part of the water pump when it's spinning I use the short side that way towards the water pump and the long side out this side okay and um, then at that point I'm ready to pop this water pump off because uh, basically I got that hose loose I'm just going to use a little screwdriver and get it worked loose here all the way around inside the hose a little bit and then it should just slide right off no problem um they'll probably pull off and uh then i've got all the bolts up here in the holes where they go some of them are wet bolts okay especially these longer ones and they had a bunch of nasty stuff on them i use anti-seize on those after i clean them up with a wire wheel wire brush you know, razor blade, whatever you got to clean the threads up with. I put anti seize on them so they they don't rust inside and get stuck to the motor. And uh then you got all your bolts exactly where they go. And you can go all the way around. Um some of them were different sizes, some of them were different lengths also, but we're talking thirteen millimeter, ten millimeter, and uh let's see. It was I'm sorry, five eighths five eighths like nine sixteenths, you know, some of them I use a ten millimeter on these small ones. So, and uh, anyways, I'm going to pop this water pump off. And then I'm going to take the gasket, make sure there's no gla gasket here, make sure there's no gasket maker. I'm going to use uh, brake parts cleaner. I'm going to scrape it off real good, but I'm going to use brake parts cleaner. Scrape any of this, any of this stuff right here left over, this gasket maker from the last one, just to make sure it's a clean fit on the new one. I'm going to put blue gasket maker. I use the blue stuff. It's the strongest. On each side of the gasket. Some people say you only need it on one side. I use it on both. And, um, you know, I'm just going to take this hose off. The other hose don't have to come off. Um, clean this surface with a towel first, paper towel, get it all dry. Use brake parts cleaner after I scrape this stuff off. There's not really much to it. It seems like it's all on this side of the uh, water pump here. Let's see. It's on this side of the water pump. Here, you know, with the water pump, the gasket came off. So that's good. So I really don't have much cleaning up to do, but I'm going to use brake parts cleaner on it and uh, put the new one on, bolt it back on, and uh, put everything back together. And then, uh, you know, these nuts here, I'm going to tighten them up real quick. There's the fan. The pulley's up under it. I'm going to mount it back on with these four nuts. So take these nuts back off after I get these studs driven in there. I'm going to take these nuts back off, put the pulley and the fan back on, but that's after I mount the water pump in here. 
and uh, that's how you change your water pump.